Now do you see how balancing chemical equation is like a puzzle? You try one thing, it works, great. If it doesn't work, you try another one. Let's try another problem. In this case, what we have here, again, we assume all the coefficient is going to be 1. So let's count each element, Na, hydrogen, and oxygen, Na, hydrogen, and oxygen. Notice both of them are the same. So how many Na do we have? 1. How many hydrogen do we have? 2. See it right there? 2. How many oxygen? Just 1. Now over here, we have 1 Na, right? Because there's no Na here. How about hydrogen? We have 1 here and 2 there, so that gives us a total of 3. And notice how we have 1 here and just 1. And look, this problem is very similar to the other problem. Like I said again, balancing chemical is pretty much like a puzzle. And different puzzle may look very similar because have the same pattern. In this case, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to make this odd number to become an even number by raising this by 1. See how this is a 1 right here? So this is going to become 2, and therefore we have 2 and A, and we have 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 give us a total of 4, and then 2 times 1 give us 2. And we know that Na, to make this Na to 2 is really easy. We just put that 2 right there because 1 times 2 give you 2, so this right here. And then for hydrogen, we have 2 times what number? So 2 times what number is equal to 4? So 2 times 2 gives you 4. In this case, what we have here is 4 hydrogen and 2 oxygen. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Isn't that easy? So don't worry about when you get stuck solving this type of problem. Always erase it and start all over. Let's try another problem. In this case, we have Again, assume all the coefficient is 1. So we have nitrogen and hydrogen. And we have nitrogen and hydrogen. In this case, we have how many? 2. How many here? 2 hydrogen. How many nitrogen do we have? 1. How many hydrogen do we have? 3. So what we have here, of course, we are going to save the elemental hydrogen last. So we're going to save this last, as always, right? Elemental hydrogen or oxygen last. If that's the case, let's go and focus on the nitrogen. Here we have two, here we have one. So we're gonna ask ourselves one time what number is equal to two. Remember, even though we have a coefficient one here, we ignore it. In this case, so now we have two nitrogen. What about the hydrogen? What's two times three? That gave us a total of six right there. Now let's go over here and balance the hydrogen, because the nitrogen is balanced already. The hydrogen here is 2 times what? So we're going to ask ourselves, 2 times what number will give us 6? Well, that's pretty easy, 3. And there you go. All we have to do, and let's try 2 more. We have 2 more left. In this case, the same thing. Assume all the coefficient is 1, and we have hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and oxygen. How many hydrogen do we have? Two. How many oxygen do we have? Two. Over here, how many do we have? Two, and we have one oxygen. That's pretty easy, isn't it? We assume all the coefficient is going to be one. In this case, what we're going to do is, look, the hydrogen is already balanced, so we're going to go to the oxygen. So here is the oxygen. We have to have two on this side as well. So here we have one. One time one number will give us two. And that's pretty easy. Of course, this is going to be two. So this right here, change it to. But this affects the hydrogen as well. Now it's going to be from 4, and this now become 2. So the whole entire thing messed up, because now we have the oxygen balance, but the hydrogen is not. But let's go over here and look how we can balance the hydrogen. Here we have 2, and we want 4. So 2 times what number will give us 4? Well, that's pretty easy. 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 gives us 4, so there you go. You have a balance. One more. One last one. So we have C, H, O, C, H, O. And of course over here is going to be C, H, O as well. How many C do we have here? One. How many H do we have here? Four. How many O do we have? Two. Over here we have, how many C do we have? One. How many H do we have? Two. And how many O do we have? Two plus one give us three. So let's look at this. The C is balanced, okay. The H is not. The O is not. But again, we always follow that golden rule. Save the elemental oxygen or hydrogen last. So we are going to save this last. Let's see. Okay. Let's try this out. Now let's look at the hydrogen. We have four over here. We have two here. So here's our hydrogen here, right? So two times one number will give us four. And of course that's pretty easy. Two times two give you four. 
and that too will affect. Now we have four hydrogen. What about the oxygen? What's two times one? That's two plus two give us four, right? So in this case, we have four oxygen now. So let's go back to our very last thing. And again, we make an assumption everything is one. Okay, so keep that in mind. So in this case, we have four oxygen here. We have two here. So we can have ourselves two times what will give us four. And that answer is pretty easy, two. So two times two give you four. And that is how you balance chemical equation. Very easy, isn't it? Remember, be patient. Try one coefficient at a time and look for pattern. And once you figure out the pattern, you are able to solve balancing chemical equation for any chemical equation. And now it's your turn to try balancing chemical equation by yourself.